Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Shadia Bartoletta from Menopriva. Menopriva is a company with teas, essential oils, and silk products created to support women in perimenopause and menopause. Menopriva was founded by three friends. Shadia is one of them, and they're all about inspiring women to love their transition and what comes next. After noticing there weren't many options that were, let's say, identifiable, um, more like sexy, to us younger women to help support women in their perimenopause and menopause transition, these three were like, we have to create something cool. So they came up with some luxurious essential oil blends and teas that go together and cozy silk pillowcases, eye pillows, and hair ties. Why? Because our hair changes when we go through perimenopause and beyond. Have to listen to the podcast to find out the exact details of why silk. So in this episode, I have a great time talking with Shadia all about Menopriva and how their oils blend with the teas and how you can take them to work with you to help support you while you're going through this transition because Shadia is a big proponent of keeping women in the workplace and not letting all of these symptoms interfere with health, but also with careers. So let's introduce you to Shadia Bartoletta. Shadia Bartoletta, welcome to the Health Fix Podcast. Thank you so much, Janine. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's my pleasure. When I was introduced to you and your co-founders from Helen Mary Finley, I was like, oh, I have to bring you on because anything for women in the perimenopause, menopause and, and beyond transition, I'm all about promoting. So you've got a couple of, of you. You've got three of you. Now, I, I would love to know the story of how you met your other two co-founders and like, how were you sitting at a coffee shop and going, we need to help women? Like, how did this, how did this come about? Okay. So actually, uh, the, the other two co-founders, Afa and mm-hmm. Manpreet, um, have been friends of mine for many, many years. We've known each other for about 20 years. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, we met over our husbands, our children and so on. And we live in the same town. So we've, we, we, we've been friends for a long time and we, we were talking about going into business together for a while, but we really didn't have like the, that idea, you know? So it was during um, the pandemic when we were sitting together having tea in the evenings and I just asked the other two, I said, Hey, you know, how are you guys doing? How's everything? And if I said, I don't know, I'm having heart palpitations. I think I need to go see a cardiologist. And Manpreet was saying, oh, you guys, and my mood has been up and down and, you know, and how are you doing, Shadi? And I said, oh, I've been, I've been dealing with vertigo attacks. I have like, I have um, a lot of vertigo, unfortunately, you know, or, or just some balance issues. And then we were laughing and we said, ha, huh, maybe we're just in menopause, you know, <laughs> not knowing that we actually were, right? So at the time, um, uh, I'm 51 now. So this was in 2022. I was about 48. Manpreet is uh, is a bit younger. Ifa is a little bit older. And we really didn't know much about menopause at all. Just like we found out many women don't, unfortunately. Many women don't understand that there's something called perimenopause that can start five to 10 years before you actually have your last bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of symptoms that come with that, as you probably know. Um, officially, I think they say 37, but we talked to a doctor, Dr. Sheila Deliz. She's very popular here in Germany. And she's been saying there are about a hundred different um, uh, issues that you might be facing, right? Like frozen shoulder, arthritis, you know, of course, the sleep problems, the typical, the hot flashes and so on, hair loss, you know, everything gets dry, atroph- atrophy, I think it's called, you know, when, when you know, everything gets a little bit thinner and drier and so on. So, um. The next day, if I went to a pharmacy, it's 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 kind of like a drugstore in Germany, but it's all natural. And she found a tea, like a menopausal tea. Mm. And uh, she brought it back and it was the ugliest tea you've ever seen. It's just, you know, packaged in this brown paper bag. It was very, you know, it looked like something that nobody wants to consume, right? So we sat down and we said, you know, where are 
the nice products, attractive products. Are there products like that for women in menopause, for the modern woman, so to speak, right? Because when you think, or when we thought of menopause, it was always like, oh, that that's just something for the old, right? Or the elderly, right? So we didn't see ourselves as that. But if you think about it, I mean, people that are on the media, for example, you know, J-Lo or, or you know, Gwyneth Paltrow or uh, Serena Williams, you know, the, the, the advocates these days, mm -hmm. right? They're mm -hmm. all beautiful, vibrant, young women, energetic, full of life. And that's how we see ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's really how the idea started. And we said, well, if there are no products that we can identify with, maybe we should develop them. And that really was the beginning mm. of Mastiva. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, because you're right. You look at teas and yes, they are. <laughs> it's depending on what brand or whatnot. I mean, you're you're it's not marketed to to women who are thinking of themselves as vibrant sizing and kind of like the same, you know, concept as the skincare industry. You know, the boxes are beautiful. We've got lots of golds and, you know, different like luxurious looking colors. But yeah, the whole natural side of things. We didn't catch yeah. that. We, we went to crunchy granola on that side and didn't really. <laughs> That's exactly right. So we really started looking at the, the main symptoms first, which of course are um, sleep problems, right? A lot of women have um, sleeping issues. Um, then also the, 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 the inner imbalance, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of us get anxious. We have anxieties. We, we have, some of us get panic attacks, you know, stuff like that. So it's like an up and down because of the hormone levels dropping, mm -hmm. going up, going down the whole time. And the, and the third one are the, the hot flashes, the typical hot flashes, right? So that's how we developed our first line. And it's actually called Cool, Sleep, and Calm. Hmm. And if you want to, I, I have some products here. I can, I can just show you if you want. Yes, bring, bring it over and we'll kind of talk to the folks who are listening to audio. We'll talk to you guys through it. And those who are looking at it on YouTube, you can see it in person. And so it's a, it's a gray box on the top with some flowers. I love it. Okay. So yeah. it's, this is. This is rose, and and then uh, uh, we also have um, um, the different flowers are on here. So so you open it up, and then it says, you know, for a good night's sleep. Uh huh. And for an for, inner calm. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is for an inner calm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. This is our sleep tea here. So there this is. is for a good night's sleep. There we go. It and looks like some chamomile. Chamom yes. I the chamomile and um and this one um yeah has marigold also and different things and then here we have the cool and this is for an inner cool mm. oh actually for staying cool i'm so sorry and um this one has um for example red clover mm -hmm. which is a phytohormone um so plant derived hormone they all have some kind of a plant derived hormone so a phytohormone in them as well just to ease to to you know to help with the symptoms of menopause but then they're also very very good tasting they have rosebuds in them some of them um and um different wonderful ingredients um like green, one has a sencha green tea lemongrass lemon balm which is i think valerian in english um le lemon verbena is that how you say it in Lemon English? verbena, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ladies mantle, um, uh, nettle, chamomile, rosemary, rosehip, um, and so on. Marigold, like I said, and yeah, so many different things. And yeah. um, and then then we thought, okay, so the tea is a no-brainer. You know, people like to drink tea, especially during menopause, because many of us cannot drink that much coffee anymore, mm -hmm. right? So also, I, I love to drink coffee, but I only drink it in the mornings now. And during the day, I drink the tea. And it just, it's it's very soothing. You take some time for yourself. I think a tea, you can never just gulp down, right? You always, it's always like a little celebration, right? You make the tea, you, you, you boil it, you put it in there in a nice little cup, your favorite cup, your favorite mug, and then you just enjoy it. And it's like a little bit of a me time. So um, that's that's one thing. And then we also looked into aromatherapy. So by the way, these teas are made by the oldest tea manufacturer in Germany. It's a it's a company that has been around since 1780 and it's now in almost the fifth generation. The father is giving it to his son, so it's the great great grandfather that started the business. And we went to him and we asked him, we said, you know, this is our idea. 
Could you make us like a nice composition for women in menopause? Are you familiar with these herbs? And he said, yeah, I actually have recipes or uh, uh, like recipes for them. And we said, do you already sell them to another company? And he said, no, no, I made them for my wife when she was in menopause. Aww. And so I have her favorite teas and know which ones helped her. So you can try them. And we did. And we absolutely loved them. We didn't have to make many changes at all. And, you know, so we, we yeah, that's that's the story about the teas. And then if you want me to continue with the aromatherapy, I can tell you a little bit about that. Yeah, let's move into that in a second. I, I have tea questions. I have tea sure, questions. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Because that is a fascinating story. So a tea company since the 1700s. I don't think anybody can claim that. So that's pretty dang <laughs> that's cool. Right. That is cool. Yeah. So which which one's your favorite one? Like, which one do you find helping you? Like, which one is, okay. I, I, I guess I'm going to do two things. Yes, flavor and yeah, which one's your favorite one? Calm. First of all, I think tastes amazing, but I use it every single day. I drink at least one or two cups of this. Um, I, I personally, I love that one very much. But this one, I think, is the best tasting. Um, mm. This one, this is the cool, it has the Centra green tea, the lemon balm, the lemongrass, the verbena, and the ladies' mantle. So it's very citrusy. Mm. And this one tastes amazing as an iced tea also. So I brew it at night in the summer. And then I I, I just fill it with ice, with, with ice chips or, you know, ice cubes. And then I put a little bit of lemon in there and maybe some um, sprigs of some of some, some herbs. And sometimes I put rosemary in there, sometimes mint or whatever. And then I have a jug and I just basically drink that as an iced tea during the, during the summer. And it is our cooling tea anyway. So it cools you down as well. And it's, it's, it's really, it tastes amazing. But they all taste very good. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to chamomile and this one has chamomile oh, no. in it. So I cannot really drink it that much. I don't, I, I won't die if I drink it, but <laughs> I avoid it if I can, you know, I, I have it every now and then, but, but the other two I drink on a regular basis. Yeah. Mm, I love it. And have you experienced any hot flashes or, or night sweats? And have you noticed that the cool kind of calmed it down and, and, and what has been your experience in that department? I'm very fortunate. I don't have the sweats yet, you know, cause I think I'm still in my early menopause and I think the, the sweats start more towards the end, but I have had lots of problems with, 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 um, hormonal imbalance. So, um, like anxieties, feeling restless, you know, just being very, very, um, nervous and so on. So that's why I drink the calm tea during the day. Also, you know, I always have it next to me when I work in my office, and um, yeah, that's that's my go to tea. And and honestly, I, I went on a train trip the other day and I thought, mm, you know, I'm probably going to drink a tea and on the train. I can't exactly ask them for just hot water because, you know, in Germany, they want to make money. So I took my own tea, I ordered a tea and I just, you know, put the other tea bag in my purse and I used my own tea because that's really my favorite tea. It is, you know, so, yeah. Oh, that's I I mean. I can see being able to just have it stashed in your purse and swap out yeah. something. Cause of course I know if you're going to buy tea, you have to, you know, pay, yes. the, pay it, but still right. I, I like the ability to be able to stash it in your purse, take it on a trip because I think a lot of people don't think about like, Oh wait, yeah, I can take these on a trip with me. I can use them whenever I want because you they're in a little box. You can put them in, probably take them individually. Are they in bags? Do you have them bagged or how, how are they packaged? They, they are, um, they are in little, um, uh, um, uh, sachets uh -huh. that are like pyramid form. They're very nicely filled, also, so they're very large, as you can see. Oh yeah, they're pyramids. Yep, you the see? little pyramid sachet there, guys. And yeah. yes, it is filled. I don't know if you can tell. The herbs are very large, so this is not some um some rest of another tea. These are actually, you know, yeah. as you can see, very large pieces. Yeah, they're the cut and sifted quality. Pieces. Yes, yeah. yes. And um, the nice thing is uh, you can brew this twice even because it's it's so uh, large that you can, or you can put this in like one liter, maybe like one quart of water, one mm. of these. Very you nice. Know? Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, I like to see how many times I can do it before I run out yeah. of, you know, juice. In same, my same here. Especially the green tea, you know, you can always brew at least twice, you know, that's absolutely no problem. And I, I do the same. 
Mm. And because it's it's just so potent and it still tastes amazing, you know. So um yeah. Yeah. No, I'm really and, embracing the teas a lot. And I think a lot of women are too, because in addition to not having the tolerance for caffeine, there's also the alcohol issue where definitely. the wines aren't so great anymore. And, and you know, and that's a really, really big thing. I I know people don't like to hear it. I don't drink alcohol anyway. You know, I just never developed a taste for it. So I'm very, very grateful. And people, I always have to justify why I'm not drinking. And I'm like, yeah. guys, you know, I mean, you know, you know, I, I just don't like it. So I'm I'm very glad that I never developed the taste for it. But when I tell my friends, of course, you don't want to preach to them and like be like, you know, you can't you can't drink alcohol. But I've been doing a lot of research and all research leads to really don't do it, you know, especially the hot flashes, also the sleep issues. They're all related to that or it doesn't make it better. Let's put it that way. Right. Yeah. So um, I think at a certain age, um, we need to just, you know, make sure that we do the best that we can. So we grow old in a healthy way. Right. I mean, the goal is not just to be old, <laughs> but to be healthy for a long time. Right. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So tell us about the, the aromatherapy, because this is something that I have had some other folks on, but not in comparison with like a tea. So I'm, I'm imagining when I looked at Menno Priva, I was like, oh, we can create a whole environment around the tea, the scrunchie, the iPad, you know, so, so yeah. tell us kind of how you came up with the yes. aromatherapy as an add on to the teas. That's the thing. So we thought, you know, what could help a woman when she's having a hot flash, right? So we said she has to have something at hand. It could be a little fan. It could be like one of those, you know, manual fans also. So we were going in that direction. We said, mm, but we need something that's that's actually going to help her and not just mask the symptom, right? right? So we started doing some research and we found out that aromatherapy might be the solution. And um, so aromatherapy is basically, as you know, is it's essential oils. We only use the highest quality of essential oils. I'm not allowed to use the name. It's a very famous brand. The lady that makes these aroma um, uh, oil or or the, the 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 sprays for us, she works with this larger brand, but we are not allowed to use the name because it's a it's trademarked, right? So, but what I'm saying is. I use these oils on a regular basis as well, or I've been using them for many, many years and I swear by them. So we found someone who is um, who works with those. And I said, we want, we want only those essential oils in there also. So they're the purest that you can get worldwide, basically. And um, so um, they are just phenomenal. I mean, they're very pure. You have to be very careful what you consume, right? And not every aroma or, or essential oil is a high grade. Like mm -hmm. I ordered some over Amazon once and I smelled them and I said, this is, you can just smell it. You know, if you, if you're sensitive to it, you will know that it's not pure. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was, mm -hmm. that was number one. And um, so, um, so basically what happens is when you use aromatherapy, I'm just going to show you, and I'm, I'm so sorry, I should have really <laughs> have had some like nicer stuff out here, but, but I have it all in the back, but here, this is the one I actually use. This is on, on my desk. As you can see, it's also like a little used, right? <laughs> and <laughs> so I spray it. Okay. She's spraying it around her and kind of wafting it towards her right now so that she can get the whole effect. And this one said calm. I saw it as well. I'm sorry. Are you still there? Janine, yeah. I'm already yeah. like I'm already in La La Land. No, seriously, this is really, really amazing. It smells amazing. It's it's just an amazing smell. Um, this one, for example, has lavender, myrrh, rosemary, citrus, vetiver, and bergamot. Mm -hmm. So, if you know those scents, you can maybe imagine it's a it's a little bit musky. It's 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 a very very pleasant smell. I actually use it in my car as well, you know, just because it smells good. And also it calms me down, but, but I actually love, love, love the smell and you don't get tired of it. It's not one of those pungent smells that you're like, Oh, I can't smell it anymore. The nice thing about aromatherapy is if it's, if it's real, if it's, if it's pure, it's also going to evaporate quite fast. It's not going to linger around like some synthetic smells, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you use it at night, we have the sleep spray, for example, um, that again has has lavender and some some other calming uh, things. I'm just going to grab one here. So this one has lavender, bergamot, clary sage, 
um, vetive, cedarwood, and frankincense. Mm. And you probably know frankincense is one of the best oils out there. You know, it's very healing also. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, then um, the the uh, cedarwood uh, or yeah, yeah. Lavender, of course, has there are lots of studies that, that show that it actually calms you down. We use this one on our pillow, for example, as a oh, pillow mist. Oh, okay. So and she's holding up the sleep, sleep box. Sleep. Ah, exactly. okay. Yeah. Okay. And that that is, as you see, that goes with our tea. So ah. it's the same line. And um, and so this one we recommend putting around your bedroom just before you go to sleep. So you you basically you inhale the the molecules. And then they travel through your olfactory nerves. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Is that how you say it? And um, directly to the brain, right? And then they impact the amygdala. Yeah, amygdala. That's how you say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is the emotional center of the brain, right? And then it gives the brain the signal, calm down, relax, you know, go to sleep. And mm -hmm. that's how it works. So it's, a, again, a fantastic. Everyone knows lavender. So it has a lot of lavendery scent but but even better because again it's mixed with all these wonderful different oils like the clary sage has a really nice scent and the vetiv is one of my favorites it's also sometimes in, in, in men's cologne mm. so it's a very, again a very very pleasant smell and um the cedar wood of course and um a little bit of frankincense yeah that one sounds glorious too i'm i uh, like both of those those sound amazing it's those... amazing yeah Ooh. and the cool yes, yes. So the cool is actually my favorite scent wise. Um, this one has, again, a little bit of lavender just to calm you down, because when you have a hot flash, many women become very anxious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there it is again. You know, I don't want people to see it, you know, so we want them also to just calm down, you know, get that get that little brain like that signal going to the brain. OK, nothing to worry about. And then it has copaiba, mint, mm -hmm. wild orange, rosemary and narrowly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, smells absolutely amazing. Um, and it just calms your nervous system, basically. And at the same time, through the mint and so on, it it cools you. It's very cooling. When you spray it, you actually immediately feel cool, cool down. And we want these the women to put these in their purse. And when they know the 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 the, the hot flash is coming, pull it out, spray it around. No, I have my little, you know, <laughs> My little aid in my in my pocket or in my purse, and that's that was the that was the whole idea about it. It makes sense. It makes sense. There's so many women that yeah, you get anxious when you start to feel warm, and you're like, oh, I hate this, you know, feeling. And then it's like, and then it turns into anxiety. I feel like it's just like it's a the same thing, basically. That's, that's what we've been hearing. Also, thankfully, none of us have hot flashes yet. Um, I have to say so, but we have lots of friends that say they have to change their clothes like twice at night, you know, and they're drenched, you know, and they say exactly that they're panicking. And, you know, um, just to go a little bit off on a tangent, this is actually um, a, an issue that um, many employers don't understand, you know, what we're going through as females, right? So, um, you know, just imagine a woman has to hold a presentation or something like that. All of a sudden she has a a hot flash, right? And she's panicking, right? Mm -hmm. So we should all be aware of what's going on in a female body and treat it like, hey, you know what? It's no big deal. You're not the only one. We're over 1 billion women around the world going through menopause right now, right? 51% of the world's population is female. We're not a niche, right? We're not <laughs> like some, some aliens that, you know, Every woman's going to go through menopause eventually. So we should neither be ashamed of it, nor should we um, be anxious about it. We should all know what's going on in our bodies and know what we can do to help ourselves, right? And and encourage each other and learn from each other and help each other. So it becomes the most normal thing. Hey, you know, I, 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 have, I have the cold. Well, I do this and this for cold. <laughs> you know, it should be like a normal topic, right? I mean, we should not be embarrassed about it at all. And the workforce is actually losing a lot of women during menopause because they can't sleep right anymore. They have anxieties and they have these, they have different issues also with their bladders and so on. And there's no one to talk to. They're embarrassed. So they would rather quit or reduce their work hours because they don't feel comfortable anymore in their own skin, right? 
that's a huge, I mean, it's a huge topic. It, it, it is. It's, it's really something that I see happening. And having something like this, being able to take the tea during the day, being able to, you know, get the, the spray out really quick in the bathroom before your presentation, you know, all right. of these things are, are incredibly helpful for tools. But, but yes, it is something that we haven't brought up on the podcast in terms of the interaction between menopause, perimenopause symptoms and work. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, huge issue. We can do another podcast about that if you want. <laughs> we're also looking into that. And we actually, we were thinking, you know, how great it would be if the employers, if if the companies offer our teas in their coffee corners, right? Yeah. So you often have the option of getting a coffee, but, or some, some tea with some, you know, some like, you know, synthetic ingredients in them, right? But what about something like this, you know? Um, where the woman just can go and, and have a cup of her tea. And, and that's her tea also. That would also show the women appreciation, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's win-win, really. I, I agree. I agree. Maybe we have some folks listening right now who are HR <laughs> um, <laughs> department, have a little <laughs> say in some businesses. I mean, this yeah. is definitely something that I do think is really important to think about because in the corporate world, um, the, these are issues. I hear it all the time from a lot of women in my practice, you know, that, that, yeah, there's nothing for me at work. So I am bringing my, my concoctions and, and whatnot, right. but, but still having it available and making it a little bit more of a, oh, okay, this is a thing. We'll take a break during, you know, there's, there's regular breaks during presentations just for everybody to cool down. Doesn't even have to be just her, you know, so much more neurological right. soothing could happen in, in my opinion. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yes. Yes. So that we, that if you want to, I'll continue because we have three more uh, yes. oil that were that we, you know, as we as we um, continued, we also became more and more aware that hey, there are more symptoms than just these three, right? Those mm -hmm. are the main ones, I would say, but not only that. So um, another really big um, issue is vaginal dryness, yes. right? And let's just openly talk about it. This, this will happen. It's not, it's not an, oh, it could happen. It will eventually happen because our, our skin gets thinner, right? Yep. So just as our regular, I mean, our, our skin all over the body thins basically. So for some women, it's extremely, extremely painful when, when, when the skin becomes very dry and, and very thin, um, intercourse becomes extremely painful as well. Mm -hmm. And um, some women think that they have a fungal infection but it could actually just be that it's dry, right? Mm -hmm. So again, we talked to our aromatherapy um, specialist and we asked her if she could develop something for us. And she says, yes, absolutely. And she came up with this, it's called Intimpflegeöl. This is written in German, but it basically mm -hmm. means intimate um, care um, oil. Uh -huh. And this one has as main ingredients, um, sandalwood, um, which is um, a molecule that mimics the male pheromone so also it's a little um, like a libido, libido enhancer uh -huh. as well so um uh, it balances the the hormones and is is often treated to um uh for for to to treat the mucous membranes it's also antiseptic and um then it has calendula which is regenerating anti-inflammatory soothing antifungal and it supports the immune system and then it has a very special oil in it. It's called the Damask Rose Oil. It's often called the Queen of Oils. Mm. It comes from the Damask Rose. And for one drop, you need something like a thousand kilos of this rose. You know, or, I mean, for one liter, I'm sorry, about a thousand liters of this of these rose petals. And this one is also anti-inflammatory, cooling, soothing, and um. Uh, is is very good for more mature skin, and it also uh, plumps the skin, so it, it it nourishes the skin. And then, um, as a as a carrier oil, we use hemp seed oil. Oh. So, um, yeah, it's an essential fatty acid, rich in antioxidants, also, um, and it uh, prevents dryness, um, combats um, sensitive skin, has omega three and six, um, and is very good for the elasticity of the skin. And it revitalizes the skin as well. And also the whole thing quickly absorbs. So it's not like you're going to, you know, put it on and it's, you know, going to stay damp all the time. You know what? It, it really quickly absorbs. It's fantastic. And um, yeah, so we use it only externally. 
So mm. in the vulva area, right? Okay. So, and that's very important to remember. And, and then also it has a little bit of olive oil as a carrier oil. So um, these are the main ingredients in this one. And it's, it comes in a little dropper form. So you can, you basically, you, you need very little of it, you know, maybe one or two drops and then you wash your hands and you apply it where you need it. And, um, and people always at late women ask us, they say, you know, why do I need that? And I say, well, do you use anything on your skin? You know, after you take a shower or before you go outside or, you know, so we use stuff on our skin because everything dries out. Right. So why not take care of your whole body? Right. And especially if you have problems, you know, you should probably think about that. So yeah, that's, that's um, how we develop this one. And then we have another one. This is my favorite. Um, this is our feel and it's a huh. spa massage oil. Mm, okay. If you put spa with anything, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And basically it's for you and the partner and, um, you know, you can give each other a massage and it also, again, it has some sandalwood in it, which is like I explained before, it has the pheromone. So it has a little bit of an, um, a, a, of a, of a, it's almost like an aphrodisiac. So when you smell it, mm. it puts you in the right mood and it's, extremely um uh soothing as well it has yang 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 ro the, the 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 rose that i was talking about the damask rose um um and then um let's see um yeah there you go and some um different seed oils vitamin e so it's extremely soothing nice and it's it smells it smells amazing as well <laughs> yeah so nice yeah nice. All right. So, I mean, yeah. one of the things that a lot of people don't think about, like you said, we put we put lotion on our face, right? And we, we moisturize our face. Maybe we moisturize our regular skin, but our vaginal skin and vulval skin is very similar, right? We we and and often I believe if it's dry down there, that's a really big um indication of what's happening the whole internally too. And so these are things for folks to be thinking about. Absolutely. And you know, there are things that we can do, of course. And um, so a gynecologist can probably help you with that. There are also some, some uh, stronger things like with estradiol, for example, that you can put around there to prevent, you know, pr prevent the skin from from getting too thin. So if you really have problems, you know, you should look at all the options. But this is this is one of the options. This is the natural option, of course, you know, because many women or some women are, um yeah, they, they don't like to take hormone replacement therapy or mm -hmm. want to wait for a while at least, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this would be a very nice alternative for the beginning, right? Or also to soothe. And mm -hmm. this one actually, I, I use after I take a shower as well mm -hmm. on my damp skin because I have very dry skin. And I've I found that if I use this right on my damp skin after I take a shower, it absorbs, it, it just, it my skin is, like it feels like a baby skin. It really <laughs> does. It's it's smooth and supple, and it's it just feels amazing. And I like the scent also. You know, the scent yeah. always helps. The aromatherapy yeah. is always yeah. key. Now, Shadia, did you notice that your skin started to get drier over time, or have you always had drier skin? I've always tended to have drier skin than my friends, for example. But now, of course, it's 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 crazy. I mean, I cannot go without moisturizing at all anymore, you know, and I, I tend to use a lot of oils on my skin now as well. In addition to, you know, sometimes I use, like I use a moisturizer during the day and then I use an oil in the evening. I just like the way it feels. And I, f I feel like it makes a difference. I, th I yeah. think so. I think so. And yeah. I think that's something important to think about that. Like you said, your skin was dry in the, you know, always. And I think a lot of women usually have some sort of routine of, of, working on that when they have dry skin but then when they go into perimenopause and it gets even drier they're like oh my gosh what do I do now like how yeah. do I tackle this and not just the skin of course the hair also gets extremely dry right that's why we developed our our um we didn't develop it but we we thought about uh, selling it to our to our customers is the silk products yeah yeah tell us, a, tell lot us. Of, a lot of women don't realize that when you um Okay, so first of all, what do you sleep on? What's your bedding made out of? Most bedding's cotton, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. What do you use to dry yourself off when after you take a shower? Cotton towel. <laughs> there you go. Exactly, because it's a fantastic, um, it, it, it absorbs moisture. 
it's fantastic for that, right? So it dries your skin very nicely when you want it to dry. But when you sleep eight hours a day and you're a side sleeper, let's say, and your face touches um, the, the pillow, for example, you're sleeping on cotton for eight hours a day. So what happens? A lot of times, especially with me, people with drier skin, I wake up and I have these ugly sleep wrinkles, right? <laughs> so um, so I thought about a remedy and I was in the States visiting um, some family and um, I saw this silk pillow and this was a few years ago. So I bought one and I'm a huge fan of it. So when we started this line, I said, girls, we need also need to sell silk pillows because this is this is a game changer for me. So then we found this amazing company in Poland. So they're all produced in, in Europe. Of course, the silk comes from Asia because that's where, you know, silk comes from. But they're, they're, they're sewn in, in Poland from a, a company that is run by women also. And um, so because silk is a natural product, it has proteins in it. So amino acids and it correlates with the skin and it, it actually helps the skin produce more collagen. And this is this is an amazing fact that we learned also. I didn't know why it worked, but when I looked into it, I found all this out. And um, same thing with these scrunchies. I just this is just I'm sorry. I mean, this is this is not like the the, the best looking scrunchie. I've watched it a million times. This is just the one I always use. Okay, I actually use this stuff, right? So when I when I pull my hair up or whatever, I use the silk scrunchie also because it doesn't break. It prevents the hair from breaking. Same thing when you rub your head on the pillow at night, you know, the hair tends to break easier because it's drier. It becomes more brittle huh. and this prevents that from happening. And then same thing with the beautiful eye masks that we sell. Um, you know, they're out of made out of 22 mome silk. It's a very high grade silk. There are different grades and they're mulberry silk. That's a special silk from the mulberry, um, uh, um, uh, caterpillars uh -huh. and um yeah so they're they're just beautiful and we don't have any zippers or anything on there so there's no metal you know because i know some people are sensitive to metal they don't want it around their heads you know and so uh, we have like a hotel um closing and um yeah so that's that's why we have the silk products because some women are like why do you sell silk products i'm like yeah well that's why <laughs> you know so so just huh. naturally helping without using chemicals because if you have brittle hair people tend to use special conditioners and this and that and again they have fragrances and you know and and silicones and blah 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 so we said you know the most natural way possible just offer it as a as a as a as an option to our um to our fellow ladies and that's I, the stuff we use you know yeah i i never <laughs> thought about the pillow I never yeah. did. And really, yeah. I mean, so many women talk about their hair breaking, but also being dry, but also loss yeah. of hair. Oh, that, that's that's a big issue for me at the moment. I have to say I had probably three times as much hair when I was younger. And that, of course, um, you know, you have to do different things about. I found rosemary oil. I put like a drop or two in my shampoo. Mm -hmm. My favorite company. I'm not going to name the name. <laughs> but I, I put a couple of drops in my shampoo and I just rub it in because in, it invigorates your scalp. And then I really massage it in. And I found that that helps a lot. And also definitely get your iron levels checked because many, many women have an iron deficiency, especially towards the end of uh, perimenopause, because we tend to bleed a lot more, right? And very heavily. That's That's an issue I have, for example. That's one of the biggest issues. And I sometimes I walk around like a zombie and, you know, I had my ferritin levels checked. They were at six, which is oh. extremely low. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's definitely that could be related to um, hair loss as well. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. Um, definitely. That iron nutrient. So important. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, you, the silk is blowing my mind and the scrunchies, like, you know, all of us kind of grew up in the era where the scrunchies yeah. were a thing. These were in, in the eighties, right? Yeah. Like we all had these. Yeah. They come in three different sizes. They come in small, meat. This is medium, and then there's a larger one. And um, yeah, we have them in three different colors, and those are amazing. They really are, and they're very lightweight, and you can wash them. Same thing with the silk pillow. People think, oh, I need to t take special care. No, you just throw it in the wash, and you know you can use any detergent. At the, in the beginning, I was very cautious, and I put it in a net, and da da da. Now I just put it in with my <laughs> other stuff, and it's totally fine. Yeah, it's it's, very it's durable.
Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, because I think that that's definitely something my my brain would think like, oh, hand washing. I already do. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no hand washing. Don't worry. <laughs> we want to make your life easier, not more difficult. So no, but you have to pay attention that you get a good quality silk. Right. And that the that the stitching is well done also. And that's what our ladies in Poland do an extremely good job on. You know, I've had mine for about two and a half years now and I wash it every week and it's still the same. Nothing came apart. It's just really in, in great condition. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I would have not thought about the silk for that. And now, now that I'm like, okay, okay. I see where you're going with yes. this. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. So, you know, obviously you guys have had like quite the extensive thought process <laughs> in here. What what's next? What are you brainstorming right now? What kind of things are you thinking about? How can we survey the audience here to see who's who's like, oh, yeah, that would be a really good idea. What, what are you guys thinking about next? Well, that's a really good point. We've talked about different things, you know, maybe like a little supplement or something like that, something that is easily digestible. I know there are amazing companies out there already. I have to say, I also, um, I'm a big fan of, of a German brand. It's a, it's a company that, that I use myself. Um, so at the moment, I think, um, also a hair product, we thought like a hair oil, because that's very big in India also. And my, my co-founder Manpreet is from India and she has the most amazing hair. It's shiny and it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So she's like an expert on that. So they use a lot of Ayurvedic medicine, of course. Right. Yes. And, um, that might be, that might be something that we, um, will look at in the future. Yeah. Some, some nice oil for the hair. I, I would be wholeheartedly into that. I love I love how my hair is when I've got a little oil in it. It definitely yes. makes it just so much more radiant, maybe is the word. I'm not sure, yes. but I like it. Yes, it nourishes it. It really does. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, my goodness, Shadia, we went through all kinds of things. I think folks have a really good idea of how they can, you know, use your systems just, you know, with the tea plus the 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 sprays. You know, I think it works really well together. And then sleep, mind yeah. blown on the fact that that silk, you got me on that one. So, yeah. So tell us how folks can find you, where they can interact with you guys and and just ask questions if they need to or any of those different things. Definitely. So we are on all the social media channels, uh, primarily on uh, um, uh, Instagram and of course, Meta, you know, Facebook, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you can find us under Menopriva. So it's M-E-N-O-P-R-I-V-A. Uh, so Menopriva on, on Instagram or on, on Facebook also. Um, but we have a website, menopriva.com. You can see all our products. We do ship worldwide, even if it doesn't say that we do. Um, right now, it's I think it says it's primarily Europe. We also you can just switch the flag on top. It's in German, but you can also see it in English. Anything you want, and then just shoot us an email. You know, it's office at menopriva.com. If you have any questions or if you would like to order something, shoot us an email, and uh, we'll we'll answer it and get it out to you. And um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you if you have questions, because our mission is for women from women. So we want to support women. We learn from you. You learn from us. You know, let's grow together. Let's go through this special phase in our lives and come out strong. And let's be the pioneers. So the next generation doesn't have to go through the things we went through. So it's going to be like, oh, yeah, of course, it's just menopause. It's nothing special. You know, it's <laughs> just like going through puberty. I mean, we weren't embarrassed about that, right? So why should we why should we feel bad about it now? And there's lots of good stuff out there, you know, make yourself uh, familiarize yourselves with it and do the research because it's really, really important. And there's a lot of good stuff. And I'm sure you also have <laughs> a ton of inf information. And, and I'm sure if if you know, if I was in the States, I would come see you, Ginny. Let's put it that way. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Shadi. I yeah. appreciate it. I appreciate it. And yeah, I, I love the teas. I can't wait to get my hands on some of those, some of the sprays, get my silk pillow. I'll be all dialed in. Looking oh, forward fantastic. to it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, well, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Look forward to chatting more in the future. Thank you very much for having me. All the best to you and your listeners. Thank you. Bye, Ginny. 
Hey, Health Junkies. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Health Fix podcast. To help support my mission to bring you tips, tricks, and tools to help you optimize your health, I'd be grateful if you'd like, subscribe, and write me a review for the podcast. And if you hear a product you're interested in on the podcast, you can now go over to my website to learn more. That's doctor spelled out, J-K-R-A-U-S-E, nd.com. Just click on shop and you'll find all the information on my favorite products that I stand behind and use myself. All affiliate income earned with your purchases goes directly to help support the production of the podcast so I can keep bringing you quality health information. I appreciate your support and I'm honored to have you listening to my podcast as a fellow health junkie. Thanks again. Hey, fellow health junkie, thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.